inspired you to first start painting? What inspired the first thing? Oh, I think it's just an instinct. I guess it's just an instinct. It's just you're trying to express yourself. So, so the, the beginning, right, if we go all the way back there, that's like being a child. It's like being a little kid. And I see now with my kids, I see where they just want to create. You have a question, what are you going to do with your time? And if the possibility of creating something is there, using your hands to make, every kid chooses that. And I guess that's the beginning. Even as an adult, it's the beginning. Well, what else are you going to do? <laughs> so what has inspired this work and the work that I've been doing for the past six months or so has been um, the sequence of numbers um, that all relates to this thing called the mean ratio or the golden mean, um, the Fibonacci sequence. So it's a sequence of numbers um, that people have derived or mathematicians um, have derived from nature essentially, the, the way that shells, not all the shells grow, the way that plants grow. It all relates back to this number, to this ratio. The ratio is 1.62. Um, and so what I thought would be interesting was to take these paintings, these kind of like center point focus attention meditation paintings that I've been doing, um, and then just overlay that sequence of numbers or that ratio onto the, the focal points for each one of these little pieces that make up the painting. Um, and so that, that is what has been inspiring me. I have always felt myself to be more of a populist. Like I feel like because I feel like an outsider, I feel like I identify with outsiders, and I know what it feels like to walk into a muse those museums in Chelsea sometimes and feel like an outsider. And I don't want my artwork to be, you know, I don't know another way to say it. I just don't want my artwork to be exclusive. I want everyone to be able to appreciate it. I don't want to take out everything so that only one person can appreciate it, you know? Like I want someone who is like, really like well versed in aesthetics and the philosophy behind artwork to be able to look at it and appreciate it. And I also want a little kid who walks into the room to let, have the experience of looking at that painting and be overwhelmed and feel enjoyment from it. I don't want to dumb them down so that they don't work on any place. I want them to be effective in all locations. Um, because I feel like the human experience, yeah, it's, it's varied and it's important and there's lots of different people to look. and. What I'm trying to say, I think, as an artist, isn't just, I'm not just trying to talk to museum curators. I'm also trying to talk to, like, the, the whole human race, you know? So what inspires me, what drives inspiration, is exploring. That's it. I think it's just exploration, whatever that is. Whatever that human urge is, is to find out, to learn, to, like, know, to be curious, to, like, question and to move forward into that questioning with an open mind. I think that's all this is. You know what's fucked up though? That's what, that's what everybody's doing. <laughs> like, 